Hello, this is Ron Clark, bringing you Lesson 9 in the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai By now, you are very familiar with the blessing that the practice of this magic confers upon the practitioner. With this final lesson in the audio series, you will learn how to confer this same blessing upon another person. In order to effectively confer the blessing of yod heh vav -He adonai you must have thoroughly mastered the previous lessons, most especially Lessons 7 and 8. The procedure has three parts, the first two of which are exactly like the previous lesson, Healing from Afar. The first part is our utterance of the canticle and the unification of the various levels of our consciousness. The second part is the sending out of the Adonai light into the woven fabric of the present moment of time-space, anchoring it to the person we wish to confer the blessing upon and then projecting our own mental awareness to their physical location in time-space. Once we are standing next to this person, with the mental presence of our unified consciousness, we begin the third part, which is the blessing itself. Our first action in the blessing is to draw in the Adonai light until it surrounds us and the person we are to bless. Then we begin to recite the canticle from the beginning and, in effect, unify our consciousness and the other person's consciousness simultaneously. When we speak the Ani, and focus our awareness in Kether, we see two white threads instead of just one. This is our own thread, and the thread of the person we have enveloped in our Adonai light. Since we have established such a strong mental harmony between ourselves and this other person, our utterance of the Ani has the same effect upon the both of us as it ordinarily does upon us when we enter the Ani in solitude. It draws two threads up from the material realm. In Kether, these two threads are one. In Hokma, the one thread splits into two, and each connects to a different greater self in Bina. That is, unless you and the person you are blessing both stem from the same greater self. In such a case, the thread remains one all the way to Bina, and then splits to connect with separate individual selves in Tifereth. Ultimately, these threads lead to two different people who are sharing the same mental proximity within the temporal present moment, yourself and the person you wish to bless. As we speak the yod heh vav -He, we descend along both threads simultaneously, and draw the Catholic light of unified consciousness down them both equally. Since we occupy such close mental proximity within the temporal realm, our two threads will be very close together at each level of our descent. When together we reach Malkuth, wherein our mental presence is standing right next to this person's physical body, the rainbow-hued Adonai light erupts to surround the both of us, and we speak the Adonai. When we speak the Rabbono Shalom, we send the Adonai light outward to the metaphorical edges of the infinite universe, and inward all the way back up to Kether. As we go inward, we ascend along both threads simultaneously. And with the inhale that precedes the closing Amen, we draw back the Adonai light that we have sent outward and inward, inwardly following along both threads in our descent, until it once again surrounds the both of us. As we speak the Amen, it solidifies around us and blesses us. This completes the blessing, and all that's left is our return to our physical bodies, a prayer of thanksgiving, and the resumption of normal waking consciousness. Assuming that you have indeed mastered the previous eight lessons, I will be leading you through the first two parts of the procedure fairly quickly, and then slowing down for the third part of the blessing itself. Lesson 9, The Blessing of yod heh vav -He adonai is the final lesson in the magic of yod heh vav -He adonai audio series. Within this foundation of nine lessons are buried many treasures from which to build a temple worthy of housing or divine spirit. I pray that you use this sacred magic to bless your own life and to multiply those blessings a thousandfold, that they may rain down as a shower of beauty upon the whole world. So let's move on to the practice of the final lesson, the blessing of yod heh vav -He Adonai. Before we begin, you must decide upon the person you wish to apply this technique to. For this first practice, it should be someone you know very well. If you haven't already settled upon a person, then put this recording on pause and decide now. 
Begin by stilling your mind and body and focusing your awareness within the present moment of time and space. So let's begin. Ani Adonai Rebono Shell Olam the Adonai light spinning around you, spend a few moments focused upon the person you wish to bless. Transfer your strongly formed image of this person and your desire to locate them into the Adonai light, and then send this light, which carries the impress of your desire, outward into the fabric of the present moment of time-space which surrounds your physical body. Amen. With your unified consciousness, ride the expanding wave of the outflowing light as it penetrates the spatial substance of the present moment until you locate this person. For a brief moment, let your unified consciousness rest in their presence. And now with an inhale, draw the light back to your material body. Spend a few moments focusing upon the connection that now exists between yourself and this person. You snared them in your web of Adonai light. Now again send the light out into the fabric of the present moment of time-space, but this time around you are aiming for a known location. Amen. For a brief moment, let your unified consciousness rest in their presence. And now with an inhale, draw the light back to your material body and spend a few moments focusing upon how much stronger the connection between yourself and this person has become. With your inhale, in preparation to speak the final Amen, you must again draw the Adonai light into your core and reaffirm its impregnation with your desire to bless this person and then send the light out into the fabric of the present moment of time-space a final time. Amen. As before, with your unified consciousness, ride the expanding wave of light as it shoots like an arrow to the time-space location of the person you wish to bless. When you arrive, Stop and stand very still next to the physical body of this person.
Now condense the whole of the rainbow-hued Adonai light until it surrounds both yourself and the person standing before you. The two of you stand within a clockwise spinning circle of the Adonai light. Take a moment to expand your awareness throughout all the levels of your consciousness simultaneously, bringing your awareness into a unified state as you stand with your mental presence next to the person you wish to bless. Now begin to speak the canticle from the beginning. Ani. Your awareness is now focused in Kether. Weaving their way up to you, you see two thin white threads. They are rooted in Malkuth and lead all the way up to your Ketheric awareness. They exist because you have spoken the Ani. When these images are clear to your perception, you are ready to speak the yod heh vav -He and follow those threads down to the material realm. As you speak the Yod, begin your descent, and with your Catholic awareness, follow the single conjoined white thread into Chokmah. Yod! Your Catholic awareness is now centered in Chokmah. Fill your Chokmah with your Catholic awareness, and then, with your combined Catholic and Chokmah awareness, gaze over at Bina and see the two bright white threads which span this distance. When these images are clear to your perception, you are ready to speak the first He, and follow both threads over to Bina and into your own greater self and that of the other person simultaneously. As you speak the He, begin your descent, and with your combined Kether Hokma awareness, follow the white threads into Bina. Hey. Your Kether Hokma awareness is now centered in Bina. Fill both your greater self and that of the other person with your Kether Hokma awareness. Take note of the bright white thread that leads from the heart of your own greater self and the one that leads from the heart of the other person's greater self. Observe how each leads down into the temporal realm, highlighting your individual selves residing in Tiferet. When these images are clear to your perception, you are ready to speak the Vav and follow both threads down into your own individual self and that of the other person simultaneously. As you speak the Vav, begin your descent, and with your combined Kether Hokma Bina awareness, follow the two white threads into Tifereth. Your Kether Hokma Bina awareness is now centered in Tiferet. Fill your own individual self and that of the other person with your Kether Hokma Bina awareness. Take note of the bright white thread that leads from the heart of your own individual self and the one that leads from the heart of the other person's individual self. Observe how each leads down into the material realm, highlighting your mental presence and the other person's material presence standing side by side in Malkuth. When these images are clear to your perception, you are ready to speak the final He and follow the threads down into the material realm. As you speak the He, begin your descent and, with your combined Kether Hokma Bina Tiferet awareness, follow the two white threads into Malkuth. Hey. Your Kether Hokma Bina Tiferet awareness is now centered in Malkuth. 
fill your mental awareness and the material body of the other person with your Kether Hokma Bina Tiferet awareness by becoming conscious of each of these levels of your awareness simultaneously. Sense your Kether Hokma Bina Tiferet and Malkuth all at once as a single cohesive multi-layered consciousness. The rainbow-hued light of Adonai spontaneously erupts, and with your united consciousness you speak the Adonai in celebration and affirmation of this eruption of light. Adonai The rainbow-hued cloud of Adonai light now spins clockwise around you and the other person. As you inhale, in preparation to speak the Rabono Shalom with your unified consciousness, draw this cloud of Adonai light into the center of your mental presence and into the material body of the other person simultaneously. As you then speak the Rabono Shalom, send the light you have brought into both cores outward to the edges of the infinite universe as usual, and also send it inward to Tiferet, Bina, Hakma, and Kether. Ribbon of Shalom. Follow the light with your unified consciousness all the way out to the metaphorical edges of the universe, and all the way in to Kether, brushing upon everything that exists in between. As you ascend inward, follow both threads simultaneously. As you inhale in preparation to speak the Amen, draw this transfigured Adonai light back to Malkuth and into the finite moment of time-space, again following both threads in your descent. And as you speak the Amen, see that the transfigured Adonai light surrounds your mental presence and the other person's material body spinning clockwise. Amen. Focus your mind upon the blessing of Adonai light that infuses both of you. Now you must turn your attention away from this person and fix it back upon your own physical body. With an inhale, draw a portion of the Adonai light back to your physical body and follow it along with your unified consciousness. With your unified awareness, focus yourself within your physical body. And once again, spread your unified awareness throughout the multiple layers of your consciousness simultaneously. See the cloud of rainbow-hued light that surrounds you and say a brief prayer of thanks for this blessing. And now utter a final Amen. Amen. Now release your visualizations and return firmly to your mundane awareness. Open your eyes if they were closed and move around a bit. This ends the practice of conferring the blessing of yod heh vav -Heh adonai and concludes the final lesson nine in the magic of yod heh vav -Heh adonai My best to you. Ani Yore Vave Adonai Rebono Shalala
Om Ribbon of Elam. 